Number 20. Which of the following is a solution to the equation 2x cubed plus 7x squared plus 6x minus 5 equals zip? Uh, I, how you, what? Alright, so, um, key note here is a solution, right? This is going to have multiple solutions, but the fact that they say which following is a solution means that they just want to know what one of the solutions is. You can easily l look at these answer choices, right, and just plug them in, and that would be another way to do it. Let's see if we can just go that way, because I, I, my factoring skills with this stuff is not the best. I know you can split them up and like, hey, well, 7 is really like um, a positive 2x squared with a 5x squared. Like, I can do that. And just split it up a bunch and then factor out. But it's just weird. And look at the answer. The answer is weird to begin with. But I would start off with probably plugging in 1. Because 1 is a really easy number to plug in. Then I would do negative 2. I would realize that they're not going to equal 0, right? You just plug in the numbers and see if they equal 0. 1 does not equal 0 if you plug that in. Right? So we can do like 2 times 1 cubed plus 7 times 1 squared plus 6 times 1 minus 5 and work it out right 2 times 1 is 2 uh, plus 7 times 1 is 7 plus 6 times 1 is 6 minus 5 and we can visually see that that's not going to be equal 0 anyway so yeah the same thing with negative 2 so let's try Let's try the one half. Two times one half cubed. And you gotta actually work this out, but this is better than doing some fancy factoring. Six times one half minus five. Now six times one half, I already know that one. Six times one half is three, right? One half of six is three. And we can combine that right now from the jump two. Three minus five, well that's negative two. So, or minus 2, you want to call that that. So, uh, what I know here is um, 1 half cubed is like 2, uh, or 1 over 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. So this is like saying 2 times 1 over 8, <clears throat> plus 7 times 1 fourth, minus 2. And uh, from there, you could you could go ahead and um, multiply it straight over. So I get two over eight over right here, <clears throat> plus uh, seven over four minus two. Now we want it to equal zero, so I'm hoping that that's what's going to happen. Alright, so um, we've got to get a common denominator, right, with the 7 over 4. So this will change for, change into 2 over 8 plus 14 over uh, 8, which will eventually give me 16 over 8. And remember, this is all minus 2, right? So this is 16 over 8 minus 2. Well, 16 over 8 is 2, so 2 minus 2 equals zero and that's why a is the answer